everybody, Jason here from Ghostbusters News, and today is the day Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is available on digital, and with it, over an hour of special features. Giving fans a behind-the-scenes look at the film, as well as deleted and extended scenes. Now, I would just love to show you all that content in today's video, uh, but I can't, because uh, copyright, that, that, that's a thing. So instead, I'm just going to provide a bit of an overview uh, in particular of those deleted and extended scenes. For those out there who may have yet to purchase a copy of Frozen Empire digitally, uh, mainly because you're likely just waiting for the physical release that's going to come later this year. Now, as already mentioned, all this added content, it is over an hour long with the majority of that time coming from the multiple featurettes. This includes a 20 minute piece on the overall making and filming of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. There's also an 11 and a half minute piece called Busted, Capturing the Ghosts of Frozen Empire, and this one is pretty self-explanatory. This outlines newcomer characters like Pukey, of course, Garaka. There's also the OGs like Slimer and the Library Ghost. As well, a good portion, a good chunk of this is about uh, Emily Ellen Lynn's character, Melody. And in keeping with the ghosts of Frozen Empire, uh, Garaka actually got his very own uh, little feature. It's nearly four minutes long, it's a good watch. Uh, from there, we've got Easter Eggs Unleashed. And I'll be honest here, the majority of these Easter Eggs uh, I already knew about, I'm sure you already know about. But there were a few that did surprise me, uh, like this one here, a Phoebe shirt, uh, being kind of like the emblems from the Proton Pax Neutrona wand. This one runs about six and a half minutes. After that, welcome to the Paranormal Discovery Center. Another self-explanatory one where they kind of go over uh, the design of the Paranormal Discovery Center the ghosts that inhabit it, its purpose in the film, and this one runs just shy of five minutes. And then finally, knowing the score, a behind the scenes look and listen at Dario Marianelli's scoring for the film. So that's all the featurettes. Uh, so now let's talk about the deleted and extended scenes. And first I should mention the one scene that I know uh, pretty much all of you out there you wanted to see, this one right here of the Spangler family atop of Hook and Ladder 8 wearing the red parkas. Uh, yeah, it, it's not not here. It's not featured. Uh, but with that said, let's go ahead and talk about the first one, and it is called Headlines. And this is hardly deleted, more so extended. It takes place while Trevor, he's investigating Slimer up in the attic of the firehouse. He knocks over some boxes, finding a Time magazine with the Ghostbusters on the cover. And if this looks familiar to you, it should as it was featured in a couple of the trailers and online advertisements for the film. Why was it cut? I don't know, pacing? Or maybe because missing a grandfather, a family member? That's kind of a serious subject. So to go from that to like animated style hijinks with Slimer, um, yeah, maybe that jump there was a little too far. I Am A Doctor is the next scene and this one is deleted. It is something that we did see a snippet of in those trailers, and this time it gives us Paul Rudd and Bill Murray, Gary Gruberson, and Peter Venkman together. There's some pretty funny lines here with Venkman admitting to his uh, kind of difference of approach when it comes to facing into the world threats, uh, at least when compared to Ray, Egon, and Winston back in the day. As well, there's also a little factoid in here about how the ice can regenerate. Uh, however, the special effects for that moment, uh, they're unfinished. Up next, we've got Chopper, and I'm gonna say it right here, uh, out of all six of the deleted scenes, well, deleted and extended scenes, uh, this one is my favorite. Another one that, yeah, we did get glimpses of it in trailers, social posts, and this has Ray, Janine, Hubert Wartsky, Nadim, Podcast, and the Spanglers, sans Phoebe, preparing for the battle with Garaka. And Hubert, Wartsky, whatever you wanna call him, Patton Oswalt, he got a legit laugh out of me in this one, and he outlines the entire scenario of the movie, what's happening. And in my opinion, it's a shame that this was cut. As Janine Melnitz, she totally shines in this. Ray, Patton, Nadim, heck, almost everybody in this scene, they shine. That said though, um, despite this being like my favorite deleted scene, I, I can see why it was cut because we kind of already know what's happening in the movie. And in fact, I'm pretty sure like earlier on, you know, like when you meet Hubert Wardsky at the library, uh, also, when Ray is talking to Nadim, you kind of get all these like little bits of information given to you. So to have it retold to you in just like a longer form, like this moment, this deleted scene uh, is nearly three minutes long. Um, yeah, again, despite being my favorite, I, I understand why why I got the axe. After that, news report is well uh, a news report. 
With the dialogue in this scene, we know that Garaka, he is on his way to the Ghostbusters firehouse uh, in pursuit of the Firemaster, of Nadim. There's also a mention that Foster and Pukey, two of the ghosts uh, that were held captive there at the Paranormal Discovery Center, uh, they're also on their way. Which to me, I feel like is important uh, because, you know, Pukey just kind of shows up later in the movie in the firehouse and he pukes all over Lars Penfield, James Acaster. And uh, that was one thing where it was just like, he kind of came out of nowhere. So yeah, this kind of gives an inkling that Pukey's gonna show up later in the film, and I like that. So why was it cut? Well, the news report, it kind of made Garaka seem not so menacing. I mean, there was eyewitnesses talking about this 10 foot tall man in a cloak. Maybe that was it, maybe it was just pacing. Uh, regardless, I wish this one, it was not cut and it stayed in the full film. So then we've got Rooftop Consolation, and this is another one that is unfinished, as you're taking a look at right here. We've got Trevor and Lucky atop the Ghostbusters firehouse, and at least this would have given the red parkas a little bit more screen time. Trevor is questioning, he's asking who he is and how he kind of fits into his family. Lucky, she talks up Trevor's great skin and driving abilities. Um, it's touching, I guess. It does kind of show that uh, both Trevor and Lucky, uh, they're still kind of like an item, like there's still a romantic involvement there, and they do kind of show that a little bit earlier in the film. Um, but yeah, I, I guess it would have been nice to have this scene, but at the same time, it, it doesn't really add all that much to it, considering that Trevor's main storyline in this film uh, was like that whole Slimer bit, and obviously helping his family out at the end of the movie. So yeah, th this really wasn't needed. Um, having this not in the final film, we didn't really lose anything. And then finally, there is Slime Bath, which is Lars Pinfield's run-in with Pukey. And yes, while this scene, it is in the movie, uh, it got cut down quite a bit. And we already knew that because there were uh, shots of Lars on the ground covered in slime that were seen in trailers, but not in the film. At one minute in length, there's a little bit of added dialogue from Lars as he's looking around the firehouse and then attempting to get off the ground as he's covered in ectoplasm. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say it right here that this scene uh, in the movie, it should have been like the full thing. It should not have been cut because Ghostbusters fans, we deserve more James A. Caster as Lars Pinfield and more importantly, we deserve more pukey. So that's about it. Uh, that does it for a look at the deleted and extended scenes of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Uh, if I've maybe persuaded you and you wanna pick up your digital copy today, we do have a purchase link down below in this video's description. As well, I know a lot of you in the comments section, you're gonna ask about this replica Ghostbusters Frozen Empire crew tee. Uh, if you'd like to grab one of these, it is available in the Ghostbusters News store. Uh, we have a link to that also down below in the description. And uh, with that said, that's all I've got for you for this one. As always, subscribe. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is also down below, and we'll see you right back here next time. Chills up your spine, your senses don't deceive you. Call up the guys who are ready to believe you. The number's 555-2368. But before you call, let's get something straight. What do you do when the ghosts have been busted? Is it the source universally trusted? If you got a case of Ghostbusters blues, the cure for sure is Ghostbusters blues. the guy who's doing